My work uh, uh, involves studying how protein molecules, which are the machines that operate life, uh, how, how uh, some of them are shipped outside of a cell. So uh, all of, almost all the cells in our body produce most of the proteins that act inside the cell and do the chemistry of life. But about 10% of the proteins, on average, uh, are special proteins that have to be encapsulated and then sent by export out of the cell. And these are proteins that everyone knows about, insulin, growth factors, hormones, all of the proteins in your blood are actually manufactured inside of a cell and then have a special machinery for their export. Um, this pathway was first um, understood uh, by using the electron microscope to peer inside of a human um, pancreatic cell. And uh, the, the Nobel Prize in 1974 was given to a, a pioneer by the name of George Pilate who un understood how the machinery inside of the cells conveyed molecules outside of the cell. But what he didn't understand because of the techniques available at the time was how, this, how this, these machines operate. And so when I started my career at, at Berkeley, um, I chose to study Baker's yeast, which is not a traditional system to, to uh, evaluate protein secretion, but they still, that's how they grow and divide. They actually secrete and assemble their membrane using this process of secretion. And so my first graduate student, one of my first students, Peter Novick and I, this developed a genetic approach that allowed us to isolate mutations that cripple this process. And when we did so, we were able to see that yeast cells use a process that's essentially the same as human cells. And as a result, the biotechnology industry was able to use yeast as a vehicle for the production of useful human proteins. In fact, one third of the world supply of human insulin is made by secretion in yeast. And so uh, what we did, which was just very basic, turned out to have a quite practical application.